Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Options Trader today. So today in this video I'll explain you how the price of gold has moved in the last two days and how the price of gold can move in the next two days. So you know the price of gold is trading at a level of $23.47 and there is a continuous upside we have seen. Chances are very high that if the price keep moving above that level a further upside movement we can see. Okay this is the range where the price was moving for so long. Okay and a U pattern is formed. Okay, now if you look at the trend of gold, what we have seen, gold is trading at the level of U pattern. Okay, U pattern has formed. So if this this is the trend, what we have seen, whenever it is making high, we have seen a downtrend is coming. Okay, and this downtrend is being sustained. Okay, and then moved upside for the next high and then our fall comes. This is being repeated for quite some time. Okay, if you look at the dollar index also, but mostly because of the pandemic, we have seen this uh, before there was a pattern to a level of 2012 to 2022. There's an ATN patterns and where a level of around four, uh, four, five patterns has formed at the same level. Two years pattern, eight month pattern, five month pattern. And this is where I've already told you that as soon as the price started moving out at a level of 20, 33, chances are very high it will go further upside. Now it has moved at a different level okay and what we can see looking at this particular chart that there will be a further upside if the price keeps sustaining okay so look at the dollar index okay as i've already explained you that dollar index is will be moving higher if the price started going above level of 104.5 which i have explained in my most of the videos okay see now there are two patterns forming in the dollar index this particular u pattern the similar and opposite u pattern this okay if a range move out happens above a level of 104.5 again now it is trading at a level of 104 so start sustaining of this level it will cross this level of 104.5 then we will see there will be higher chances towards a level of 104.6 level and from there it will move towards a level of 104.9 if the price keep moving above that particular level, chance of touching level of 105 will be there and then from there a further upside movement. Okay, and then a higher chances we can see towards a further upside movement. Okay, now if the price didn't sustain, we can see it can go towards a level of 104 and from there this particular pattern will support. So chances of going towards 103.8 will be there and then to a level of 103.11 will be there. Keep that in mind, they are inversely related. So chances are high if the price keep moving below this level, we can see the gold price can go further upside. If the price started going over level of 104.5, then a further upside but if it started going below a level of 103.5 then we will see a further uh, further upside if the price started moving below this level the gold prices but what we have seen in few days from the previous week we have seen both are moving in the same direction so you have to remember that by putting your sl because see market is always uncertain so in order to reduce the uncertainty and save your capital you have to put your sl okay and you can trail your sl once you are in profit okay now look at this particular chart so suppose if the price sustain this level we will see it will go again towards a level of around because it has already moved below a level of support okay so it can go towards its next resistance at a level of 23 52 dollars and if the price keep moving up this level we will see a level of 23 60. if the price started going above a level of 23 60 we will see it will cross that level and it will go towards 23 66 dollars and from there a further upside movement we can see so chances will be higher that once the price started moving over level of 2366 then a probability of going towards 2275 will be there and then to a level of 2285 and then a level of 2300 chances will be higher that we can see a further upside movement now remember see market is always uncertain as i've already explained you so you have to keep on trailing your sl whether you are on buy side or sell side Okay, so suppose if the price didn't sustain, it can go towards its next support at a level of 22, 30, 23, 43 dollars. And if the price started falling below this level, then we can see a level of 23, 36. If the price started moving below that particular zone, chance of touching a level of 23, 29 will be there. And from there, a further fall we can see towards a level of 23, 0, 5. If the price started going below that particular zone, chances are very high that we can see it will go towards 22, 80. And from there it will move further down towards a level of 2264 okay once the price started falling below 2264 a further fall we can see towards 2247 to a level of 2235 okay and then a further lift the price 